All right, everybody, welcome back to the Let's Play finale of Old World Blues. Wow, it's been a while, and here I am. Oh my god, a second person! He does exist! Watching watching this game again has given me like so much like nostalgia for the original de for this DLC when I first played it myself. Yeah, and I also didn't realize how freaking crazy the the AI is in this too. Like especially the lobotomites, but I guess that makes sense. I don't understand why hitting them in heads do extra damage. Because they don't have brains. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't make any sense to me. It should be like Ernest when they shoot, like, you shoot him in the head and, like, with, like, a nail gun or something, and the nails not only ping off, but they also bend or are irreparable. Oh, my God. The, the, the giant scorpion. Here we have a giant enemy scorpion. <laughs> not a crab. Hey, I was about to call it a centipede for, for some reason. <laughs> this is such a crazy boss fight. It is. And I, I know that in Fallout 4, they do something similar, like, with the, uh, with one of their DLCs. I, the only thing about Fallout 4 I remember getting, the only ending I actually got was joining the, uh, the Syndicate, or whatever they were called. You're not gonna believe this, but for Fallout 4, I, like, I made save for, like, every single, uh, faction, and I, I, I went ahead and I, uh, I went and did all their endings. I have no idea why. Why? Oh no, I believe it. Even though the what was it the institute? Even though the institute were like pretty evil. Yeah. Their ending, but their their ending was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was yeah that was the ending I got. Mhm. Mm like you I got was, the, uh... I was working with um the Minutemen, but I'm like this is boring. I don't see how anybody can like them. They're just extremely boring. Like, even, like, like the the Rangers from, like, Fallout 3, like, they barely show up, and you only unlock them if you got a perk in Fallout 3, and you had to be super good in order to get it, and they somehow are more enjoyable still than the Minutemen. Mojave. It's a good achievement. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is that... Is that related to this DLC, or is that just like in general? I think like you it, hacked like 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 fifty computers or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's just in general. Oh, that was a, that was a good timing on that then. Yeah. Uh, this will definitely date the um this recording. I started playing Resident Evil Remake on the first day of release, and so far it's freaking amazing. Uh, eight hours into the game, and I only just got to Salazar's castle. Wait, I, oh, I didn't know it was it was that much more different. Oh, uh, it, it's insane! They added a lot. Oh, I've, I've definitely heard some really good things about it. So, I'm, oh yeah, definitely wait for the let's play. Oh, I'm 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 gonna wait for somebody to do it. I don't know who. <laughs> uh, Max already uploaded like the first part of his stream of it, and I've been watching that. Attack its weak point for massive damage. Oh yeah, that's right. I turned it off. It didn't actually kill it. I don't remember what you do in this boss fight, though, because obviously you go around and... You can, uh, yeah, you can outright fight it, or you can go around and use your science skills to um to uh, deactivate everything and basically make it useless. Yeah, science. Weird science. <laughs> Weird. Oh, I remember this part, though. My favorite character. Oh, yeah. Huh? That's how that works. Yo, hello there. Uh, you are there, aren't you? Forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. Also, not gonna lie, I'm just gonna say it right here and now. The other, the other DLCs of New Vegas, besides Lonesome Road, they kind of blow. It's my favorite game, but it's got like some of the worst DLC. Well, wait, isn't there only three? <laughs> it's it's this, um, Lonesome, Lonesome Road, Road, and then the one that nobody likes, right? <laughs> no, there's four. There's four? There's Old oh, no. World Blues, Lonesome uh -huh. Road, the canyon that yeah. no one really likes, and then the freaking casino. 
Oh, of the ca Sierra Madre. Fuck Run. that DLC. It is so monotonous and ridiculous with that damn collar. Yeah, I could see what they were going for, but it's it's just becomes a slog to get through that. Even on the easiest difficulty, it's a nightmare because of the damn, like I said, because of the collar, and you had to get to the speakers at the right time. Or boom. Yeah, there, there's lots of saves coming in that Also, one. my game always bugs because no matter how hard I tried it, no matter what dialogue I did with every guide I looked up, I could never get the 100% save everyone around. I, th I think there's... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, the singer. It's always the fucking singer. You're supposed to say the correct things to him, and then he's gonna, he'll cool down, but there's something that's like, hey, no, fuck you, I'm just gonna stay off, stay pissed. Oh my god, I, I hate games where you have to pick the right dialogue choice in order to like to get the good ending. Because I just went through The Witcher 3 again, and I was like looking at, I was looking at what to do, and some of these like dialogue options were like, why would I say this? Oh, it's it's for the good ending. Oh, oh, okay. It's like it's really fucked when people do that. It's like it's like start it's like the it's like starting an RPG and you get like a ring that you don't think you're gonna use, so you sell it, only to reach endgame to find out that that ring was the almighty thing that killed the boss. And you sold it to the first merchant you saw. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's, it's like it's one of those things like you have to look up which one to pick. The only time I like where endings are different when your you cho where your choices in dialogue is like something akin to Shattered Memories, where you, where the ending actually is different. Mm, that's Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Yeah, Shattered Memories. Yeah, Silent Hill. Oh, okay, Silent Hill. Speaking of which, I gotta, I gotta pick up that game and do a replay of it. I remember having a lot of fun with it. I actually played that one myself, too. So, yeah, that's that's what I played. I would really appreciate it if Nintendo re-released it for the Switch, but it's probably never going to happen. Um, I don't think that's Nintendo's thing. I think that's uh, Konami? Oh, with the way that yeah, Nintendo yeah, likes yeah, to yeah. throw things around? I'm pretty sure they could talk to Konami. The most well... I don't know if you saw this a couple months ago, but Konami did like this their own little direct, and they were bringing back a lot of Silent Hill games. Did you did you see that? Oh no, I don't think I did. As much yeah, as I, there was as like. As much as I love Shattered Memories, Silent Hill was more my brother's thing. I was more of the Resident Evil guy. Yeah, they uh, they have their own thing where they surprise everybody, saying like, "Hey, we're gonna bring back, like, we're gonna remaster Silent Hill one and two, and uh, have a couple of side games." It was really surprising. Oh, yeah, I did see the the trailer for the Silent Hill 2 remake, and uh, it's a uh, interesting piece, shall we say? Oh yeah, the, the the trailer was weird, but I mean, we haven't seen anything else about it since. I'm just talking about James's um character model. Mm -hmm. It looks a little off to me. I mean, maybe that's why we haven't seen anything else because people made fun of the, fun of the trailer. Oh no! It's the Sonic trailer all over again! Dude, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Yo, unironically, love those movies. The Sonic movies? Yes, they're, they are good. I own them, I love them that much. Jim Carrey is like the best Eggman. I would really like the third movie too. Love how we're playing Fallout videos, but we're talking about Sonic the Hedgehog and Silent Hill. You're just talking to a bunch of monitors. True. I'm talking to you through a microphone looking at a monitor while we're talking to three monitors. Oh, oh man. That's like monitorception. Not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. With and you, the T virus can finally be unleashed. Uh, I can believe I got this plot point. Your brain knows about the procedure. Well, your brain could be popped back in, and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Yeah, because robo brains don't exist, right? Oh wait, they I'm do. Not sure, 
or attack at the 50 foot brains. No, I mean, there's literally an enemy in this game. Yeah. That's just a robot. <laughs> yeah, the robot brain. And not just that, you're forgetting about the cyber dogs who also have brains in jars. Oh, yeah, that's right. I like to imagine that every robot in the Fallout universe has a brain somewhere. Like, even the Protectatrons, when they're shooting the lasers, I like to imagine there's a brain in that bubble. The Mr. Gutsies were probably had, like, some military guy's brain. And this is all just copied. Yeah. Poisonous frosting! Ah, yes! Arsenic vanilla! My favorite! Perfect candidates for improvement as a reward for their tenacity. Then I thought... What if they shot energy bolts and acted as walking eyes? And oh yeah, we were talking about Sonic because this guy's name is Dr. Mobius. Oh, that's Obviously, right. that, that's the connection, uh, of course. That's it! That's the connection! Oh my god, what is this guy talking about? Mustard custard, apparently. He's getting so- he's getting as off topic as we are. Well, to be- well... To be fair, in his defense, he's on drugs. <laughs> we? We're just a bunch of people watching videos. Calm science? You and your brain are quite alike. I'm sure it knows the raisins better than I do. Raisins? Oh, my brain fell out. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? That's not what happens. Rather catchy, isn't it? It's my name, and my new name overwrote the old one. This name's as real as you or I. Although I believe and your Dr. Mobius stars in Forbidden Planet. Well, uh, 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 and the nature uh, of such an appellation. <laughs> Someone's uh, been watching too many old world science fiction movies, it said. I believe it meant me. I must admit I have a vulnerability for holotape fantasies of planets and robots and all that is forbidden. Can't believe this guy's hey! still going on. The name I was born with. Like the think tank, we were all reprogrammed. I think to there's a wild wasteland take on a moment names. here somewhere. It enforces the recovery oh, yeah? loop and yeah. I, I don't remember. I think he says something. You gotta pay attention. Cause like it's not just like what you see in the world, now, but it's also sometimes dialogue in this game. Word, right. right. Like I think I told you this. Like with the still, president assassination gosh. attempt for the NCR. What? If you yes, talk to the guy on the radio with the sniper rifle tower with the Wild Wasteland perk, you totally do the Han Solo thing. It's like, oh yeah, we're fine. It's we're right, totally fine. How? How oh, are you? That trap. Well, we're getting banned on YouTube again. What? What do we do? We said trap. Oh. <laughs> of all the threats to make. <laughs> no, apparently. Oh, this, uh, is uh, as... this one's it. But I may have oh. myself to forget them, just in case. They're probably very dangerous, lethal, or worse. So yeah, I don't know do what that reference is. To keep them yeah, I, I don't understand, Luigi. Like this is it, Luigi. You're not making any more sense. I gotta load the buckshot and finally put you down. The brain cancer just got too much to you. Mario! No, no! The doctor said everything's working! The chemo! Mar Luigi! <laughs> He's, I'm your doctor! <laughs> that was a mushroom, Luigi. <laughs> Which is actually no I gotta line up the three dots life. to kill the virus, you Luigi. You're making it difficult. In the first place, Oroboros, Klein, they have all forgotten themselves. And not only themselves, but the world. Sense of time and history. They forgot to pay their WoW subscription, and someone here. hacked it and turned them all into gnomes. I reprogrammed their chronometers. Now that's evil. Yeah. ...and cartography programs. This is now... They just forgot to remember. <laughs> big mountain. It they couldn't even remember the 5th of November. Really? Thinking back? They were my friends, but... Sometimes they would take things too far. 
And the world isn't ready for that kind of too far thing taking. That's my profession. Too far thing taking. Anyway. That's some good word talks. And I am told I was once <laughs> quiet professional. Quiet professional. <laughs> I have oh, oral really? borals. It is so mm. unlikely to make an error in anything I do. Speaking about the Resident Evil oh, yeah. 4 remake, this actually makes me wonder what they're going to do about the RE5 remake. Ooh, that's a good point. I, uh... I do not know what they were going to do about that. Alright, time to talk to Stewie Griffin. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. Where have we been? Brian, what are you Call doing in front of my brain tank? This whole conversation. Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? What's funny is that if you get the seduction perks, you can actually hit on your brain. Oh, I think I've heard that or something. <laughs> it is hilarious. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equal. I kind of want to see what this Lord, conversation's like if you have, like, one intelligence or something like that. Oh, I think I did see a video like that. I, I think, like, they're both, like, really stupid. Just have, like, this, the stupidest dialogue choices. <laughs> Why are you such a dick? That's a good. That's a good question. Very good question. Yeah, I was going on a spiel or something like that with this. That's why it's taking so long to click things. Oh yeah, and you didn't uh, plug in your mic or something. No, right? what happened is that I used sound recorder. That comes with the computer when you automatically get it and all that. What I didn't realize is that apparently it has an auto shut off mode when you use it for too long. By all means. The idea of yeah, listen, dude. Rule number one: Don't ever use any of the default stuff that comes with the computer. <laughs> it almost, it almost never works. After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Doctor Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. Spirited away. Good movie. Great movie. I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite That's also sure another movie where one of the very few though. parts of the dub is actually good. The dub is good, I'm not, yeah. The, the Studio Ghibli Studio Ghibli dubs are usually fairly good. Yeah, they are. Like, that's how I saw Princess Mononoke. I saw it on Adult Swim. Me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't think of any bad ones. For More for them. On. About the oh, I'm, I'm I'm sadly my uh, Miyazaki films are very limited. But uh, the ones I did see, there was a uh, Hanyo that was all right. Uh, Spirit Away, so far the best one I've seen. And mm -hmm. Princess Mononoke comes out a good second. The best ones, yeah, yeah, they're good. Uh, I, there is there is a couple of years ago where I made it a point to watch every single. Uh, Studio Ghibli movie directed by Miyazaki. <laughs> How'd that go? It was, it was great, but there were some weird ones. There was like there was ones about like Tanukis who who were like like living their normal day life. I'm like, what? It, it was it was weird. It was weird for for a Miyazaki movie. <laughs> it's it's not the ones that they usually talk about when they when they talk about Studio Ghibli movies. Ah. Ah yes, the studio the studio's top films, Spirit Away, How is Moving Castle, that one where the Tanookis take their nuts and build a house out of it. Yeah, that, that's probably why I never brought. That's probably why I never dubbed it. <laughs> Japanese folklore is weird. Mm -hmm. I heard urinate. What is going on in their brain? Oh, he's just reveling in the fact that he doesn't have to take a piss. Time to take a piss. I can see there's going to be no reasoning with you at all. I got bored of that dialogue. Mm. Oh no, please don't leave me here in this nice. There is actually an ending where you don't actually grab your brain, but I could never get it for the life of me. 
Does there? Don't deprive me of being yeah. dragged to a landscape. And it's so actually a little sad, apparently. It was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. Some great A acting. I believe him. <laughs> Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now, using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. When you think about it, a supercomputer brain would probably be better, considering the fact I could probably crunch so many problems in a matter of nanoseconds. Yeah, but it doesn't actually make your character smarter it's or anything. No, it doesn't. You would think it would. But I guess, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I guess since the Fallout internet loss, so you can't really connect to it and get smarter that way. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll be like Mr. Wikipedia or something. Of course I accounted for that. Do you think I'm so stupid? No, you're right. Maintaining my current functionality. That was some good detail. How how I had that steam coming out when he got mad. Yeah. I just didn't notice that until we were watch this. I'm not entirely sure. I suppose there's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. What form that might take, though, I cannot say. I tried to actually leave the brain behind. Oh no, you don't need this hassle. You're too busy treating your body like a canvas of sucking flesh wounds to deal with your brain. Look, I get into a lot of plasma fights. What more do you want? It's not my fault. This DLC is filled to the brim with Skeletors shooting the sun at me. I mean, can That's you believe this voice. guy? Let's leave. Fine. I know it's great. My brain is spinning. <laughs> Maybe it's been infected by the plagas or something because of the way the I AI is working. Know. Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way. To this actually kind of makes me think if our brains actually do have a personality of their own, and, and they're just yelling at us for all the wrong we do. No. <laughs> this is this is this is Carl's. This is Carl's logic. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't feel so good. Don't seem so bad. They vivisected us just to see what would happen. Have you forgotten the lobotomites? The cyber dogs, I assume you saw those. Imagine uh, I think Night Stalkers and Cazadors are worse than Cyber Dogs, to be honest. Every man, woman, and child we've met reduced to a lobotomite. It's no, I was talking about Carl Pilkington. Oh. You know anything about him? Oh, I, it sounds like a name yeah. I should. Yeah, he was on, uh, he's like the, the butt of the joke of the Ricky, the Ricky Gervais show, an idiot abroad, you know, ah. that. He has a lot of stuff that's like, oh, your brain separate from you. Oh. It's like, no, it's not Carl, shut up. <laughs> and a lot of the stuff is just reminding me of the stuff that, uh, that Carl Pilkington would, would say. Thinking that your brain is, like, separate from, from yourself. Showers. No, Carl, you are your brain. <laughs> Regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. That Julie Fox Our brain is example, so high maintenance. Like, such here. a fucking drama Sir, queen. you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra promise me that i only slept with one prostitute Three. what the fuck is your problem i didn't expect you no to deal that. <laughs> that a... seriously he's acting like i'm some kind of man well, whore but i only canonically fucked laura bailey once hmm. it's because she right. voiced the woman <laughs> That's what I meant. Yes, yes, uh, I, I, Imagine that being taken was, out of the context. I was thinking it was some name I, I didn't uh, so, remember. What do we do about this? Also, I find it amazing that our brain can talk without any voice boxes. You mean I'll stay in my tank and you'll stay in your... I guess it well, has I, I, an audio speaker somewhere. Yeah, I was, was going to say, I assume that the machine has one. 
certainly imagine the heart. Imagine the heart having a conversation with us. It's like, dude, the things you ate. What the hell, man? It's not that I didn't like being in your head. You understand? Do you know how much extra have to work? It was a rather. Do you know how hard it is to breathe in here? The tubes are clogged, man. You have 40 of cholesterol! That doesn't sound so bad. 40 pounds! Will you take some free advice from your brain? No, I don't wanna. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you... I'm going to <laughs> shove them <laughs> <Of course>. up. <laughs> What's the, really the brightest thing in the room? Hmm... Yeah, see, you are my brain. You love energy weapons. You love to see enemies explode in plasma. Could you imagine if you were like an evil character, you could coax your brain back by t picking like evil right. dialogue Look choices? Out, tank. This brain is coming out of its job. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think karma has anything to do with that or anything like. No, it's not like in Fallout 3 where karma plays a much more bigger deal. I don't think karma plays a big deal in Fallout 3. Uh, it kind of does. I mean, kind of. Like, if you're super evil or super good, I know you either get bounty hunters or you get good guy hunters after you. Yeah, but that's... That's really it. I mean... Well, actually, I think there are certain dialogue trees in 3 you can get. As, um... Yeah... With uh, your karma. Oh, I see you and your brain. I'm just saying, three used it more than pleasant. New Vegas did. I hypothesize after but yeah, even then, it wasn't that much. My receptors had uh, recepted. Such a partnership based conclusion would be low on the likely scale. You know, I could totally go to the boomers and just get some scrap metals and whatnot and probably fix that one. I I because we can't go to the Brotherhood. I blew them up. Yeah, well, they hadn't deserved it in this game. Yeah, the Brotherhood did deserve it. Especially if you decide to follow Veronica's storyline. What was that plan? Blast. I probably uh, Last. Blow them up. The Got it. Floor somewhere. Something ingenious and needlessly complicated, I expect. I, mean, I forgot I had forgotten pencils until one day. That will be difficult. It would be like fighting... And they have an arsenal of vivisectors, brainial beams, and a rather nasty ray that can make your atoms do a happy oh dance. My. I wonder if it's if like the dance from the episode of South Park with Cartman and the aliens. Ends, then deceasing them is definitely an option. Deceasing them. Deceasing. <laughs> or, or as the kids these days say, unaliving. That will definitely make them unalive. Because you can't say die on uh, social medias anymore. I like deceasing. Deceasing That's a good is word. actually pretty fun. Yeah. Unalive is more like, a, I feel, is like if you're just trying to come off more as comical than serious. Yeah. But everybody's got to say that because, oh, we got to censor everything. So I completely missed it. What what what's the what's the uh what's the thing that we're doing now? We got the brain back, we gotta go put it we gotta go put it back in our head. Oh, is it just in your inventory? Uh I think it's a key item, yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's I, I actually believe it's a key item in your inventory where it's like brain. Oh, uh, I wish we could look at that. Oh, I should have did that, but I don't I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. But we did get all the upgrades for all of the people. What's the hat? What's the hat? What's the hat? Right on, baby. Let me it play copyrighted music. It would have been some real shit if he actually, like, if you flipped it on. It and, like, the first radio station you get, it's like, 
Hey everybody, Three Dog here. This is Galaxy News Radio. Oh man, what a that would be great. You require some. Uh, I was trying to just get my head back in the body. I... Oh yeah, that's right. Our heads are already back in our body. I think. What? Your head didn't go anywhere. It's your brain. You know what I mean. Did that do it? But yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. Yeah, the optional is just to get your spine and heart back in your body. Mm. Yes, with the whole fake black that Bethesda is so well known for. I know, that was just a basic exam. I didn't put them back. I decided to ditch those useless things. Oh yeah. Who needs you a hard pretty... spine when you got a brain? That sounds like Stewie I've been watching your tone with me, you <laughs> bottomite. Now, your brain. Look at this red lighting we have in the background, so you know we're evil. <laughs> I know, right? And what could we possibly have to speak about? You have the brain, we have the technology. All you must do is surrender. With it, we can finally leave this place. I cannot tell you how boring this place gets, chopping up the landscape and everything in it. And we have so many questions to ask your brain I find first. it interesting that, that we're supposed to be nice and place. spare these guys the instead of killing them. Ground for our experiments. Yeah, because these guys are like as irredeemable as... Actually, these guys are as, re as redeemable as GLaDOS. And she is a mean bitch. Well, I feel like that they're not very de defendable. Like, I feel like you could just shoot a couple of bullets at them and they would go down. Apparently they are equipped with a shit ton of energy weapons and, uh, woo Ray. Nothing is impossible for science, masons, lasers, atoms, brainwaves, all are at my command. You speak the truth. Wow. And the decibel variation of voice, it is Mobius. How dare you breach the sink tank? And what do you want here? <laughs> I love these dialogues. Like, Fallout has some very funny dialogue options in games. Mm. That's no deal at all. There's a whole world beyond the crater, filled with ideas and possibilities. We could have escaped, and Robco. seen it all for ourselves, tested it, routed at it, made it squirm. Partner with you, my foe, my rival, my foremost critic? What is this, a slice of life anime? That I would like that. How odd. Odd. Very well. Partner, the think tank is at your service as long as you do not destroy us. Now imagine right. if they hijacked somebody like Homer Simpson. Walking, walking, walking because I have oh. to cool. Oh, New Vegas, being able to just bypass fights with 100 dialogue. As it had been in the years before Lovely. the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. Albert the courier Wesker. watched over the Big oh Empty God. for years to you come. You fuckers let the wrong person in the lab. And keeping its discoveries safe until they were needed to help others. Which yeah, the only time the karma system actually plays relevance in this is the just the ending for the game. Oh yeah, the, the ending cards. That's like, it, oh, really. this, this is this is what happened. You know, you don't get to see it, but it's implied. I, oh, great, thanks. Facilities believed lost, destroyed, or ones that had simply gotten up and walked to new locations. Been you mean to tell me you have artificially, internal, like, you have AI locations that can move on their own? The Shit, I wish there was some of that I could have seen. The yeah, where it is. It's like a whole building just get up and be like, is it like, is it like the bell monsters from Elden Ring? 
years continued yeah. his research undisturbed in the Forbidden Zone. As much as he had attempted to create better scorpions, he tried the same with humanity, with considerably less success. He made crab people. These failures didn't is, bother him. Is that good? <laughs> Once well, the had, to, <laughs> had to ask the denizens of South he Park on that one. Any event. After all, the bright young mind who had come to visit him in the Forbidden Zone had already exceeded his expectations. He already knew the 2 plus 2. The dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with... A Morgan Freeman. ...requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might... Oh, yeah, that place. Words, oh, yeah, the place nobody wants to fucking go to! ...contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault... It had helped infect before the war. The worst place in the whole of the game. Thank you. To devour all seditious mm -hmm. materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. What yeah, racism. Reason? Yeah. It slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continue to bicker and flicker. I don't care about the light switches. <laughs> the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united... I know it said flashlight, but for some shirt. reason I heard flashlight, and I shuddered. One of them eventually transferred to oh the light weave dynamics plant and began <laughs> a long, unrequited oh. affair. Imagine there was a talking flashlight in the sink. Oh god, no! Any <laughs> Hi, my name's Sucky, how are you today? <laughs> it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and no! flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. Once it learned of the innovative toxins plant, however, it gained new purpose. It sought to develop antitoxins to flush into its drains and counteract the poisons bleeding into the soil. The toaster. At least one of you is doing something good. Spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap. All oh, toasters, toast, toasters. After it's more psychotic. <laughs> you know what they episodes, say. However, all toasters, the other sync personalities toasters. decided enough was enough, and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. I got a Saturday night fest. Mommy I'm good. Did his best to collect. I can Although hook on that thing. He wasn't that big. He was a lot smaller, wasn't he? It might have been yeah, like, he's like half the bed size Except now. Yeah, what the heck? I think they got something messed up. Yeah, he, used, he was just the size of an action figure. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. I never noticed that. <laughs> he got a growth spurt. I will say, this is quite the mug shot he has. Thanks for coming, everybody. Yep. <laughs> you can just, end, we can, we can just end the video right now. <laughs> you can just turn it everybody, off. I'm, everybody, unsubscribe. <laughs> turn off, dislike, unsubscribe, reporting, no, not commenting, drowning it in the algorithm. Don't come to my channel and unsubscribe for me. <laughs> personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches although he I wonder how the voice actors feel having to read this stuff like what am I reading a I know, brief right? fling with the light switches like like you know good on them for keeping a straight face for that oh I don't think they kept a straight face but they wanted the paycheck what why are they why what is going on here why are they telling us about every single one of these sentient appliances in your base Brothers and sisters got shipped to the Sierra <laughs> this is taking way too long. I don't know why they thought anybody needed to know this information. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. The skeletons are free! Yep. Through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movement. 
this. Rather than performing a superficial observation, <laughs> my character is bored and he's drinking from his canteen. What communism was. It's his course filled with alcohol. Yep. <laughs> it's this filled with sunset, sarsaparilla, and vodka. Until the facility finally realized that its research had. It's called the Sunset Sunset. So it let its cyber dogs. Because that's how far as you get. To help protect small communities. Yeah, you'll be blacked out after drinking it. <laughs> and no star cap. The infiltration program in X13 felt spent, having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm. No filled, more. And a bit sluggish. It realized not long after. The stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration not even a dear John letter. Was it a one night stand? Technology. It eventually found God Repcon damn. HQ. I gotta stop. Up Someone, someone's gotta stop me. Testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. Oh hey, you know what? This you only get if you made Roxy. And I should have done Rex's quest before coming here, but um, it's all right. Mm. I, I appreciate the barking. I do like the fact yep. that you hear their stories from the people who are actually associated with it, like the characters Lucoria, themselves will say it. Intact, continued onwards. I can't believe that they brought an actual dog in to read the script. That that is just phenomenal. As they should be, after all. Brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts. And the courier's brain was more clever than most. Dr. Klein and the think tank remained alive, unaware of the world outside. They looped through their daily routine, none the wiser about the world beyond. Although perhaps wiser was the wrong word. The world outside belonged to the courier. And if anyone would shape it, well... The courier had already called dibs. They really make it sound like you chose the yes man independent ending. Mm -hmm. Like they don't even mention house at all. They can't see the presence, much less the Yeah, I see I seen that they're trying to keep things vague. They stare into the what was Well to be fair, because you would probably like complete this first before any of the other stuff, spent, especially in the main story. As the realities of their world continue on around them. And it's not like Science. you can start a new game over a again by completing the main story. Because Bethesda doesn't believe in that. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years. You can fall three in centuries. Come. Yeah, but then they oh, added the yeah. DLC where it's like, hey, you're not dead anymore. Yeah. And then it becomes open world again. Yeah. I think that's the only game that lets you do that. Yeah, now that you mention it, that actually I think it is. Mm -hmm. That is weird. It can be easy to see science as evil. Technology unchecked as the source of all ills. Science all bad! It can be easy with to see science as evil. Hell, Shows example of Billy Bob Tron future. running around blowing things up with the Neptune, <laughs> with the Poseidon energy cannon. World hope. I think it's great. Hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more, but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the transportal ponder, the courier could return to the dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. If crack open a cold one. If there was anything left to, return, to really discover. Was covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained. And it was one the courier had to walk alone. Hinting at Ooh. Lonesome Hall. Yeah. I forgot I did that. Uh, we are now 10% more resistant to addictions. And we got 10% damage threshold bonus. Nice. Okay. For the big brain. And we can return whenever we want. And that's going to do it for this uh, episode of Fallout New Vegas and Old World Blues in on itself. Next time when we and Kirby return, we're going to take on Lonesome Road next. Ooh, definitely my favorite DLC. Oh, yeah. I had to record him, by the way. Uh... <laughs> yep, he just keeps going.